Today I am going to share with you some Apple DIYs that are perfect for the fall season. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Julie, and here on my channel, I share budget-friendly DIY and home decor ideas. So if that's something that interests you, please give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to join my YouTube family, and let's get to the DIYs. For this DIY, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree pizza pans. I'm going to be using these pearl beads as well as this fresh apple cider printable, which is from Natalie from Design to the Nines. She has a video on YouTube that I will leave a link down below in my description box where she offers some free printables. So be sure to check that out if you would like some Apple printables. So a couple of tips. I'm So I'm just gonna be taking these pearl beads. You can use anything that's around if you have the wooden beads and I'm going to glue them around like a frame. A tip when you're gluing, when you're hot gluing onto anything metal, it drives, dries really fast. So you're gonna to wanna to do just a few beads at a time I also have the holes, the openings of the beads facing each other so that there aren't holes facing up. And once all the beads are on and dry, I am going to take the metal pan outside and give it a couple coats of some white spray paint. I am not gonna paint the entire back, just the edges because that's what you would see if it was hanging on a wall. And I am gonna give the front two coats. Now once that paint is dry, I'm going to be making a mixture of the cashew colored chalk paint as well as some brown wax. And I am just going to be dry brushing the paint all over this picture, especially around the beads. And I'm also, when I'm dry brushing, I'm making sure that they all go in the same direction. It's going to kind of have, I mean, it doesn't really end up looking like wood, but it's kind of that rustic wood, like a whitewashed wood look. And then I take just a little bit of the brown wax, again, not a lot, and I just kind of make lines to give it that look of wood. And any places that are too dark, you can go back with the lighter colors, like white or the cashew, and lighten it up. Then I am just going to trace the sign onto the pizza pan. And I'm using graphite paper, but you can also use the pencil on the back and trace it that way, which you've probably seen on my channel or other people's channels. And I'm just using a Sharpie paint pen to trace and fill in the letters in the design. I decided to add some of the Dollar Tree greenery and some of the red berries up to the corner of the sign. I'm using a mixture of the green and then the ones that they have from the fall section that's like green with yellow tips. And I'm just hot gluing it on and then I'm also going to be adding a few of the little berries from some of their fall picks. Lastly, I am just going to add some of this ribbon as a hanger on the back. For 
For the next DIY, you're going to need one of these little wooden crates from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this brown gel stain wax again, and I am going to coat the entire wooden crate inside and outside with the brown wax. You could also use stain. You could also use some watered down brown paint. Then I'm just going to stamp with these little letter stamps. I believe they're from Michaels, but they could be also from Walmart. I'm not really sure, but it was a little box and came with all the letters. And I am just going to be writing Farm Fresh Apples for Sale. And I could not find my black ink pad, like for the life of me, could not find it. So I am just using actually a paint marker and I'm just coloring in the letters and then stamping it on that way. Then I'm going to take some Dollar Tree moss. Now this is the thicker moss. I'm not exactly sure what it's called because I've had it a while, but it's the less messy moss. And I'm just gonna stick some of that into the bin as like a filler. And then these little mini apples I picked up from Amazon, which I will link down below if you're interested, but you get a box of them for a really good price. I have another simple DIY for you. You're going to need a roll of toilet paper. You're going to need some of this right, red and white buffalo check ribbon or a napkin. I end up just using the ribbon and this ribbon is from the Dollar Tree. And you're gonna to wanna to unroll some of the toilet paper. This is just like making a toilet paper pumpkin, except for we're going to make an apple. Using the toilet paper like this to wrap around the edge is what gives it a little bit of a rounder shape so it's not so square like the toilet paper. And then I just kind of play with the edges a little bit, again, giving it a rounder look. And I did not know if this roll of ribbon would be long enough, which is why I had the red and white check napkin as a backup, but it actually fit perfectly. And all I'm going to do is stuff in the one end and then keep wrapping it through the center of the toilet paper until I have completely wrapped the toilet paper in the ribbon. And then once you get to the last piece, I just pushed it through the middle and pulled it up on the other side and kind of left it bent so it looks a little finished on the end. And nothing was glued, so everything can be taken apart at the end of the season and reused. And then I am just using a stick from outside and I am gonna stick it in the center. And then I'm gonna use a piece of this green ribbon, which is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna tie it on and cut off the ends at an angle, and now I have the leaves from my apple. Now for this DIY, I'm going to use this planter, tin planter from the Dollar Tree. I at first thought I would use these rub-on letters, and I didn't. And I'm going to be using a couple different size apples. Again, I got large ones and small ones from Amazon. I'm going to be using some leftover, just the stick part of the different picks from the Dollar Tree, as well as some greenery. And when I realized I didn't have the right letters for the rub-ons, I decided to just use a stencil that I had. And I'm just gonna be writing farm fresh apples, five, 50 cents a pound. 
And again, I'm going to be using the same Sharpie black paint marker as I've been using. Now to fill the bucket, I am actually going to use just some paper towel to add as a little filler on the bottom. And then I'm going to add a couple picks of greenery and the apples. Now the apples don't come with picks or sticks or anything in them. So I, like I said before, I'm just using going to use some leftover um, of the sticks from different Dollar Tree picks that I have and put them in the bottom of the apples to use. And when I started this, I thought that it would look good to have a couple big ones and then a few small ones, kind of like an apple field, like all the apples that fall off the tree kind of thing. I don't know, or but it just didn't work out. I didn't like it. The big ones looked way too big. So I took the big ones out and added more small ones and I think it looked really really cute this was simple really inexpensive and it's going to be a really cute piece in my decor for fall Now this is one of my favorite DIYs. You're going to need some of the larger faux apples, some of the sticks from Dollar Tree. I'm using cocoa colored paint, some Mod Podge, and this is called kebab. It's basically like animal bedding for like birds and um, bunnies and stuff. And I'm just gonna take one of the sticks and I'm gonna stick it in the apple. And I saw this done on Instagram by a couple different people and I was just super excited to try it. I'm gonna just take some of the paint and mix it with a little Mod Podge. Now I used too much Mod Podge, so do not use that much Mod Podge. You only need a little bit of the Mod Podge. And you could do the Mod Podge even separately, just painting on the caramel look for the caramel dipped apple and then using some glue afterwards for sticking on the faux chopped peanuts. But um, I did it the way I saw the first person um, that I watched do this on Instagram and I just think I used too much Mod Podge but you're just gonna paint it on and I covered basically three quarters of the apple in the paint Mod Podge and I did make sure to use my brush like this to kind of give it a nice edge like it was dipped and then before it dries is when you wanna make sure that you add the cob, it's like corn cob stuff, that's basically what it is. I don't really know how to describe it, but it really does look like faux peanuts. And so because it's got the Mod Podge in the paint, it's gonna stick really well. And you just cover it as much as you want. I am just gonna use some styrofoam and I'm gonna stick the apple in there just to let it dry. And then I'm going to use some of this ribbon. It's like a black and white farmhouse looking ribbon and I'm going to tie it onto the stick just to give it that finished look. You could use any ribbon that you have, but I love this ribbon. I really hope you guys enjoyed these apple themed DIYs. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Also let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And if you're looking for some more fall DIY inspiration, check out these videos here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.